Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Brian Grandstaff. That's a face that I know that you're familiar with, and we're excited to talk uh, to Brian, our, our parts um, sales manager, as well as our, the, the, the creator behind the boilerwarehouse.com. So we have got some parts, uh, some common parts, Brian, that I wanted to just really go over, just to talk to folks out there to let them know what we've got here. We've got some traps, and we've got some a, a PRV here. Um, why don't you go through this bucket trap and first of all just talk about what it is, what, is, what are traps do? Yeah, so uh, in a steam system, we all know that steam is an efficient way to transfer heat mm -hmm. uh, for process. Um, with, with that heat, as you're, as you're distrib distributing that heat, um, as it changes phase and gives up that heat, it turns into condensate. And uh, that condensate then becomes a uh, hindrance for heat transfer. Mm -hmm. So uh, you want to be able to evacuate that liquid from the steam system. Uh, you also want to be able to recover that heat um, that has uh, been put into that to, to create that temperature mm -hmm. and, and get that back to either your feed system or your DA system. Uh, so you can actually save, save the fuel to recover uh, your condensate so you're not putting that BTU back in to reheat it. Makes sense. Yep. And these are throughout the plant typically as big as a warehouse was. Yeah. And so, the line that you're running you would have these at certain distance. So yeah you'll see uh, traps all throughout a steam distribution system. You'll see them on the header um, with drip legs. You'll have uh, every so often or any change uh, in elevation. Uh, so you'll have a certain run of length of pipe if you change elevation, you'll, you'll want a drip leg. Um, so you'll have a certain trap for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you drop down and use the steam in certain places, whether it's kettles, heat exchangers, um, any kind of steam jacketed type uh -huh. uh, thing where uh, you're going to give up and heat that, heat that product, right. um, you're giving up that heat and it's going to create condensate. So you'll okay. evacuate uh, with the trap at those points as well. Okay. Um, a, a bucket trap like what we've got right here, um, that's good for uh, header drip, drip legs, uh, okay. any kind of drip leg uh, application. Right. Um, it's not so great uh, on evacuating air from a system. Um, so that's where you'll typically see it in a, in a header where uh, the pressure of the steam is actually um, pretty constant you're not really trapping a lot of air if you're if you're running that system pretty regularly mm -hmm. it's not being shut down a lot right um, uh, this trap right here this uh, floating thermostatic mm -hmm. um, that is actually a good application for it to use like at a heat exchanger or anything that cycles and turns off and on okay uh, it's actually got an air elimination function in it oh okay so, uh, and it's got a high capacity. It, it's made to drain a lot of condensate. Right, There's a lot of money uh, saved using these things, right? Throughout the yeah. So you're, you know, you're you're using the the fuel and you're and you're heating uh, the water to be able to create the steam, and so you're putting BTUs in this water, right? And you're putting the BTUs in the system, and you're going to be able to recover uh, a lot of that heat even after it's heated its product by getting that condensate back. Okay. So that's just more BTUs that you're, you're recovering that you don't have to reheat that far uh, to create steam again. Sure. And we did a segment uh, several boiling points ago on the Everactive to actually be able to um, just measure to see if traps are working. Uh, yeah. That's something that we've been used, so make sure you check out that. Mm -hmm. So you got a PRV. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so you, right here we've got an Armstrong uh, GP2000 pressure reducing valve. It's got uh, an externi externally mounted pilot here. Um, there's, a, there's a section of tubing that actually uh, runs along uh, the back of this from the pilot to this diaphragm as a balancing feature. Okay. And then it'll also have a sensing line that comes out of the pilot. Okay. that goes downstream. So you'll have an inlet pressure, say 150, 200 PSI coming in one side. Uh, and with this range, we've got a three to 21 PSI spring coming out. So you can adjust with this with this uh, nut right here, uh -huh. you can actually adjust it between three and 21 PSI on the outlet side. Oh, okay. okay. Um, these, are, these are used in all sorts of the same applications where uh, your your steam distribution. You may be running a you know 100 psi on your steam header, and then where you drop it down to actually use the steam, 
uh, you may have a requirement on a kettle or a heat exchanger of 15 PSI or less. Okay. Um, so that's where you'll typically see these. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of Armstrong, each one of these products are Armstrong, and I think you've got some announcement that you wanted to chat about, I guess, about, you know, yeah. just we're excited to be with them as a, a stocking um, a partner with them. Yep. Um, so maybe talk a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, so we've partnered with Armstrong. Um, you know, uh, Armstrong has been around for over 100 years. Uh, I think it's around 121 years now. Yeah. Um, family owned business, been around. Uh, really the flagship in the steam industry for traps yep. and pressure reducing valves. Yep. Um, their, their blue traps are iconic, their yep. bucket traps are iconic. So we're really excited to be able to to really carry the full breadth of, of what they've got to offer. And you've actually put some stuff in stock that yeah, we have. Yeah, we're, we're stocking uh, bucket traps from half inch up to two, two and a half inch. Okay. Um, all different pressure ranges, um, different types. Um, we really try to run the full gambit of of being able to service uh, those steam distribution systems. Well, as we as a company look to try to be a resource for you in education, um, we also, from a service standpoint, just to be that resource on training, obviously, um, but also to have products for folks if they need something. And uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're excited to be partnered with a great, great company. Um, you can get all that stuff on boilerwarehouse.com or you can give the guys a call, of course, to. Uh, check it out. But great information, good to know, good things that we need to make sure that we're putting into our system. Um, and appreciate your time. So we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Brian hanging out with us and talking about the Armstrong products. Um, you can go out on boilerwarehouse.com and check them out. Well, we are excited that we are getting into some normalcy uh, with uh, getting through this COVID. And I hope you guys are too. We actually got a nice get together today. Um, and had a little cookout, cooked some hamburgers, hot dogs, good summer stuff just to be together, great culture. We hope you are doing well as well. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos and check out uh, the weekly boiler tip and the steam culture. Um, and just check out all of our stuff on our website as well. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.